Good morning, everybody. Oh no, I've just seen my camera battery is about to die. Oh. Okay, let's give it another go. Hopefully this battery has a little bit longer on it. How are we guys? I hope we're all well. By the way, my voice sounds so weird because I don't know why, but I seem to have lost my voice. Like I was ill a few weeks back. As you guys know, I had COVID again and that wasn't too great, but I got over it. And then this last week I've lost my voice, so I, I just don't know what's like going on there. Anyway, as I was saying, it's been so long since I've vlogged. I have been doing so many kind of styling hauls and those type of videos. And I feel like I haven't picked up my vlog camera properly and I've really missed it. I feel like it's when you guys get to see like my life properly. And, and like, I feel like I connect with you more through a vlog. So today's vlog should be fun because today is currently Tuesday. But on Thursday is my birthday, 28th of April, I'm going to be 29. I cannot believe it, guys. I have one more year until I am 30. I feel like because we lost a few years because of COVID, like I was 26 when that started and all of you guys will have been a good two years younger as well. I just can't believe where the last few years have gone. Like I honestly feel like I'm still 21. I feel like after the age of 21, I feel like life just flies by like that like you really need to live every day to your fullest even though I definitely don't but you do because life goes so quickly and you know I just can't believe I'm nearly 29 but you know age is just a number life is pretty good I cannot complain at all but yeah I still won't ever be able to believe my actual age and thank god for Botox is all I can say <laughs> Anyway, for my birthday, I haven't got massive plans, but we were actually meant to be going away on my actual birthday, but we had to change the times for different reasons. So actually I've decided I'm gonna go home to Kent tomorrow. So we're gonna go home, see all my family, which will be so nice because I've not seen them properly in ages. And also my nan is there. So I'm gonna go out for dinner with them. And I'm really looking forward to it. And I feel like I've actually never had a birthday without my family. So I'm really happy I'm going to see them. And then I'm gonna come back to London on Thursday and just have a day out. So I thought I'd take you guys along with me and we just can have a nice little vlog. And obviously tomorrow we're gonna go to Kent as well. So I'm gonna go and get changed out of my dressing gown that has probably got makeup all over it because my dressing gowns are always so dirty with fake tan and makeup. And we'll sit down, we'll do a little unboxing and then be on our way. I love filming my videos way too much in this spot, but the lighting is always so good. And it always makes my flat look like it's so in order, like everything looks so tidy here. When in fact the rest of it, as you guys know, is always such a mess. So I'm sorry that my videos are always in the same place, but this, it just kind of works, you know. Anyway, I'm going to show you a few new pieces that I picked up from Majuri. It actually feels like my birthday already because look at the size of this box. Um, so I picked up a few new pieces, mainly um, earrings because I wanted a little new ear stack for my birthday. Um, so the first thing I got though wasn't actually earrings. It is in this little box. Of course, I've opened it all already because I never can wait. My goodness, for a minute I thought I'd lost it, but I kept it in a safe place up there and I found it anyway. So it is this really gorgeous, delicate bracelet and it's got these like, little gold discs on it. It is real gold and I thought it would look really pretty next to where I wear my watch. So you can have it three different lengths depending on the size of your wrist. But look how cute it looks on like that. It kind of sparkles in the light slightly. I actually saw it on one of my friends which is what made me get it. I saw it on her wrist and it was really sparkling. And I just really love how it looks. And I kind of like really into delicate jewellery. I mean, I have been for quite a long time. Um, I mean, I love my kind of like chunky jewellery to kind of dress an outfit up. But for everyday jewellery that you don't take off, I really, really love pieces like this. So that was the first thing I picked up from Missouri. And then the next things I picked up were, so like a new ear stack. So let's start taking these earrings out. Where should we start? We'll start from this one. By the way, guys... Remember I got my top ear pierced about a month ago while I had to have it taken out. Like, I've just decided that my ears for piercing anywhere in cartilage, look how red it's gone by me taking those ears out, it just doesn't work. Like, it doesn't matter how much I try and heal it, they will not heal. So, I've totally learned my lesson. Well, I say this every single time. Give it five years, I'll forget and try again, I'm sure. But I am never getting cartilage piercings anymore because they just don't agree with me. And if any of you out there are lucky enough to heal your cartilage piercings, I am very jealous of you because 
for me it's almost impossible well it is like actually impossible by the way so what i'm putting is we have the large diamond stud in my first hole then we've got one of the small diamond studs in my second hole these are just really comfy i wear them like every day i picked up some new um small diamond studs because i actually wear them in both ears so i have like eight piercings all together so you know i needed a couple of new pairs so that is one of my first new earrings the small diamond stud then another new addition is this it's so pretty look at this gorgeous diamond flower earring by the way look how nice my nails are literally so happy with them found a new nail shop guys anyway back to the earring look how pretty it is i'm obsessed with it so i'm gonna put that in my third hole like that, look how pretty it looks in your ear. I love it, so it is real gold and real diamonds. And I think they'd make such a beautiful gift, especially for like a bridesmaid or something like that. I always think that about Missouri jewelry because it's quite affordable in comparison to other gold and diamonds you have on the market. I think they just make really, really perfect gifts. And then the next earring I picked up was this one and this is called the Diamond Parve Line. So it is literally just a gold stud, but then it has a line of diamonds on the front of it just there. And this looks really effective, either worn on its side or kind of like straight. It kind of gives the illusion that you're almost like wearing kind of an extra earring. I love how it looks like that. Now, a lot of you are probably thinking this is a very odd ear stack, but I always love with my earrings when they are a little bit odd. I feel like I dress, I don't want to say plain, but I dress very kind of plain basic in the nicest possible way to myself and i always like to express myself through things like my jewelry earrings and things like that so i always like to be a little bit of fun and you know kind of mix it up with my ear stack which i do really regularly so that was everything i picked up from missouri i'm so happy with this little ear stack i think it looks so cute look at the flowers they're actually my new favorites i think they look so pretty like that as always guys i have got a 10 percent off like link i was going to say a code i don't have a code i have a link that you guys if you want to get 10 percent off missouri Go into the description box, the link is there, and it gets you 10% off on their website. And as you know, all of my rings that I wear on a daily basis are also from them. I don't have them on right now because I'm hoping to walk to the shops. And if I'm like if I'm going somewhere nice, I always wear all of my jewellery. But if I'm just walking or going to the gym or something like that, I never wear my rings, especially if I'm walking in London. I'm not saying like London's really bad, but I just never like to like make myself a target, you know? But my earrings will be staying firmly in my ears. Good morning, everybody. My God, my head is so shiny. What is going on? Look, you can actually see the shine in my forehead. Um, I'm obviously back in Kent, if you can see by the background. I'm actually like a little bit out of the background because my mum's there and she never wants to be on the vlog. Um, but yeah, I got actually home last night and we went out for dinner last night, which was very nice. And this morning, um, everyone is here and we're just going to have a little birthday breakfast. I actually faked tan last night, which is why my face is a completely different colour to my neck. And um, I also have on, I'll show you my pyjamas in the mirror because they're, they're stunning. As always, mum has her traditional birthday banton up. Is that what you call it, banton? Is that how you say it? Banton. 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 I'm not sure. Banner. Banner. I just wanted, I've like mixed two words together. Yeah. Um, Banton. Yeah, it gets, it gets reused every year and has done for 30 years. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm not quite that old yet. <laughs> One more year, guys. Um, and we've got a cake, lots of presents, cards, and we're just about to have granola for breakfast. Look at this little nappy. I can't look at her tail coming through there. Oh my goodness. She must be well embarrassed when she's walking around. She doesn't go out there. Oh, okay. You just put it on when she's inside. Oh, I see. She's got a um, she's got a nappy on because um, apparently she's in season. I uh, mean, she's yeah. getting big, doesn't it? And here's Dutch. Dutch, should I be on the vlog? Here you go, on. Nan. Here's your cup of Dutch. tea. I feel like I've been back home at my parents for two minutes, and I'm just about to put some makeup on to look presentable enough to go back to London. And I like I only just arrived. I have to go back today because I have plans in London. But yeah, it's been a really nice flying visit to see my family. I'm sorry I didn't vlog too much of it, but it's really hard to sometimes vlog and enjoy the moment at the same time. Um, and obviously I have family members that don't like being on the vlog, which I totally understand. So I'm sorry I didn't vlog too much, um, but I'm actually currently in the bathroom, some of you might remember. <laughs> Before I moved out, I used to do all my makeup here and stuff. The light in here is so good. It makes me miss having a window in a bathroom because in London, when you live in like apartment blocks like I do, you rarely have windows in your bathrooms. 
um, and so I miss that natural light. Anyway, I'm just gonna pop on a little bit of makeup just so I look presentable enough to get on the train. I actually had some PR sent to my mum and dad's. I don't know why it still comes here, but I got these from YSL Beauty, which is very exciting. This is gonna be a very quick rush makeup look. And this one I think is like a tinted moisturizer. I'm kind of getting that drift anyway. Put a bit of this on and see see what happens I'm actually quite impressed with that i'm now going to use the fenty stick this is in the shade mocha and i use this for my contour just to give me like a little bit of color on my cheeks and i bring it up to my temple i really like this contour it's quite creamy so you can really blend it out and blend it in now i'm going to do a little bit of this concealer this is my favorite concealer at the moment it is the banana low lighter from rodeo so good by the way, should we just discuss how good my skin is? I said to you on Instagram, if any of you ever use this, it's Paula's Choice, and it is their BHA Liquid Exfoliant. So one of my best friends had been using it, and she kept saying to me, it's so good, it's so good, you need to try it. And her skin was looking amazing, but I just, I don't know, I've got really temperamental skin, and I thought, oh, sounds like I've already said I wouldn't believe my best friend, but I thought, it's not gonna work on me. Then I saw my friend's boyfriend, and he had the most amazing glowy skin. And I said to him, what do you use on your skin? And he said he uses Paula's Choice BHA. And I was like, wow. And he'd also got his boyfriend, which is my friend. They were both using it and both of their skin looked incredible. So I went and bought it. It was about 35 pounds, so not crazy dear. And oh, it says it on the bottom actually, it was 31 pounds. I got it from Selfridges, but you can get it online. And, um, yeah, I've been using it for at least, I'd say, three weeks. And honestly, my friend said it will get rid of any kind of bumps you have in your skin. It will get rid of any of your blackheads and stuff like that. And honestly, it's it's brilliant. Like, I literally use... My, my skin routine's become so basic and easy now. Um, and I'm using it day and night. The only thing I would say, it has dried me out a little bit. But I think it's so, I mean, the difference has been great and I fully, fully recommend it. And we're going to use my favourite powder ever, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. Look how much is left, barely any. And I love this so much. It basically does make your skin look flawless and just gets rid of any shininess. A little bit of NARS bronzer to bronze myself up. I'm going to put on a tiny bit of this is the Refi Blush Lip Liner. I love it so much. It just gives my lips... A tiny bit of colour. I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. Do you know what? I really need to get my eyelashes laminated again. But my eyelashes are so naturally straight that they look actually ridiculous if I don't have them curled, which is really annoying. And the mascara I love, I've just realised I've forgotten, so I'm gonna use this instead. It is this is Victoria Beckham, but my favourite one is the iconic London one at the moment. And that's it, that's literally going to be my makeup today um, for going back to London because I can't really be bothered to do any more. Really impressed by this YSL skin tint though. Look, who's here? Do you like the slippers? Oh, we love the slippers. Goes really nice with the outfit. <laughs> the slippers are Tesco's. Oh, very nice. Tesco's slippers. And the, and the tracksuits where? Nasty girl. Nasty girl. Nasty girl tracksuit. Love it. And the coat is? From? Freya's wardrobe. <laughs> she just pinched it out of my room. It's actually naked fashion. All together. Yeah, it does, especially with the slippers. Yeah. <laughs> I could change my shoes. No, it looks really nice. It looks good quality. It needs a little bit of a steam, though, I think. But other oh. than that, looks fantastic. Are you going to tell everyone how you've been, Nan? Where I've been? No, how have you been? It's been a while since you've been on YouTube. I haven't been here since December. The tenth. Yeah, did you come for? Yeah. Did you come for Christmas? I didn't... Ready to see Angus go to Canada. Oh yeah. And he'd already gone. Oh yeah. But we all celebrated in Canterbury. Oh. Jack yeah. as well. Yeah, you're right. You've got a better memory than me. And um, and Sarah. Yeah, true. And then. And my cousins, guys, just to let you know. But Angus had gone. <laughs> oh yeah, true. He'd already but, left. Anyway, I've had a fabulous time this time. <laughs> when to the restaurant last night, treated by Freya, which didn't seem right on her birthday. Oh no, it's out of order, I'm paying for dinner. But for I birthday. couldn't pay, it was too expensive for me. <laughs> <laughs> next time, next time. Well, yeah, anyway, she's been raiding my wardrobe since she's been here, haven't you? Oh yes, I've got a lovely blazer. 
Good evening, guys. Why are you so close to me? Like, why is this so zoomed in? I don't understand what's going on. Is it usually this zoomed in? I don't know. Anyway, I've been so shit at vlogging. I'm now back in London. I wish I'd filmed what my apartment was like when I got home, but I'll insert some photos and the little video that I got for my TikTok. By the way, ignore this like, messy cupboard behind me. Um, so how cute was that? Anyway, I've actually just got ready. This is my face that's going on right now. And we are going for dinner at Park Chinois, which is a surprise. I've never been there before, so I'm looking forward to it. Um, it's just going, like my boyfriend and I, we're going together. So I'm gonna quickly show you my outfit. I wasn't prepared that we were going for like a fancy dinner. So I just kind of like pulled something together. Maybe I should show you in the mirror in my bathroom. Okay, so I wanted to be comfy, classy, and also like a little bit dressy, but not too dressy. So I've got on this corset. I don't know if you can see it in this light. I want this corset, which is from Zara. And then my trousers, sorry, ignore the mess and even the mirror's dirty, but whatever, you know. The trousers are from Naked Fashion. And I have on my Jumbito Rossi heels. I'm gonna use my Chanel bag. And this is my little outfit of the evening. Um, I'll try and vlog as much as I can when I'm out. I've decided this vlog is going to stretch like the whole of my birthday weekend. So, even though the vlog has been quite shit so far, <laughs> it will get a little bit better, hopefully. Look how gorgeous the restaurant is. Our food is here. I have got the noodles. I don't know if you can hear me, guys. And then my boyfriend's got the sea bass. And I've got the black cod and potatoes. Sorry I left you all last night. I went out for dinner. We went to Park Chinois and it was so nice. The food is Chinese, but not Chinese how you kind of like usually get it from the Chinese. Like there's no sweet and sour chicken balls or anything like that. But it was so lovely. And they also do a show which was unreal. Like the acts will come on at different times. So there's singers, like acrobats, dancers, and it was just really entertaining. Had the most lovely night. I felt like I'd be hungover today, but I only had like two or three vodka, and no, I had three vodkas, but I actually feel fine. Like, I think that's a good thing when you don't drink wine and you just drink spirit, like my hangovers aren't that bad. Anyway, I'm actually just up because I am editing some stuff that I need to do um, for work and stuff. And I'm also gonna quickly show you my birthday setup from yesterday. I'm so annoyed I didn't film it when I came in, but I was just sort of like caught up in the moment. But I'll quickly show you now. Okay, so this is actually a two and a nine numbers, um, but they won't sit in place. But I've actually since realized after putting it on Instagram, this is actually a six upside down. Um, and there's actually the funniest story about the balloons. I'll tell you later when I'm doing my makeup. Um, but yeah, this was all set up for me when I came in. How cute. Um, we had a little cake, which I had a spoonful of yesterday. Um, all those little secrets on the side. Here's some of my prezzies, which I will unbox with you a little bit later as well. And these beautiful flowers are from my lovely friend and manager, literally the best manager, um, Leona. She's so lovely. So she got me these flowers, which are just stunning. And then this giant bunch over here are from my boyfriend. And look at them. By the way, do any of you know what this flower is called? Because... I was saying yesterday, it's one of my favourite flowers and I have no idea what it's called. It's so nice. But yeah, what a beautiful bunch of flowers. They feel very lucky. I also ate this giant bag of Wotsits yesterday. Well, the bag is giant and also the Wotsits inside are giant. If you like Wotsits, you must try these. They are like fantastic. Um, today, I am obviously doing some work this morning and then I don't know whether to head to Zara early or not, but we're actually gonna head to the shops. We're gonna go to Selfridges, head into Central, have some early dinner, and then part of my birthday present from my mum was tickets to go and see a show. So tonight, um, my boyfriend and I are going to watch a show, which will be really fun. I feel like I'm really like extending this birthday out. Like, why not, do you know what I mean? Why not, it's a new birthday one time a year. So yeah, tonight we're going to watch a show and then this weekend I'm meeting different groups of friends. Hair and makeup all done. I've actually washed my hair today. So it's feeling very fresh. It went very well actually. Um, I'm going to quickly show my outfit and then I think we're actually going to be going to Selfridges and then obviously this evening we're going to watch a show. You're going to have to ignore these stupid lights that are next to me here. They're just the ugliest things ever. I have no room in my apartment for like crap. Do you know what I mean? I mean the whole apartment is literally full of crap but anyway. This is my outfit. So my trousers are naked fashion and with well, their jeans obviously and I have literally not stopped wearing these since I got them they're like such a lovely fit they're really really comfy and they're like the perfect amount of bagginess then I have on my Nike Panda Dunks which are very comfy as well I have on a cropped but it's actually not 
cropped. It's just a black plain t-shirt which I've tucked into my bra, which is from Everlane. And then my blazer is from Arkit. And then I think I'm just gonna wear my classic Chanel because honestly guys, this is like the only bag that I wear at this point. So this is what I'm gonna wear to go shopping and then also for dinner and to the theater. We've just had a little um, pre-show Nando's, butterfly chicken, coleslaw, berry chips, berry chips. And I've got a wrap, the garlic peronese, which is so nice, so much better than the normal peronese. Guys, the show was so good. So last time we went to watch Bob Marley get up, stand up, it's all about his life. The music, everything about it was like such good vibes and at the end everyone was literally up on their feet dancing and clapping and it was just like such a feel good musical. I 100% recommend it. It's like good for anyone and it was just so fun. And then last night, um, we didn't, we had a Nando's before we went and then um, we just, by the time we got home it was like 11. So yeah, we just chilled and then had an early bedtime. I say early, I actually fell asleep on the sofa and went to bed at two o'clock in the morning. So that was great. I am now off to go and meet my friends. This is my outfit. I'll show you it properly in a minute. Um, you've actually seen this outfit a hundred times in my recent styling videos. I feel like it's my favorite outfit to wear at the moment. The only thing is I have put on a bit of weight and so my belly out at the moment is not much of a vibe. But whatever, I've got like a shirt over the top and I'm actually going to meet them for a little bit of lunch and kind of like a day out. The weather is so nice today, like it, the sun is shining so bright. It should be a nice afternoon, hopefully. Let me quickly show you my outfit and then I'm going to go and walk to theirs. My friends and I, we all live in the same place. It's like being at uni. Um, I've moved here. I was like the first person out of my friends to move here. You know, everyone copied me. I'm joking. They didn't. It's just like, it's just a great place to live. So I first moved here. And since then, I've had a few groups of friends move as well. So I feel like we're in uni dorms. Like we literally go and knock for each other. It's so fun. Love it. Here is my outfit and I'm having like doubts. I just went to show you and then I thought, I don't know if I like it anymore. And then I was going to put on this other outfit and then I asked my friends and they're just saying just keep what I've got on. So here I am. So the shirt is from Zara. I actually wore this outfit on my Instagram like last summer. Then the top underneath is Adenola. My jeans are the ones I had on yesterday, Naked Fashion. My trainers are my Jordan ones. They're called Lucky Greens. And then I have on my Chanel bag. I feel like, I don't know why I don't really love it. I think, as I said, I've put on a bit of weight so my belly... It's like, it doesn't look like it here, I look like I'm being dramatic, but my belly is, I'm just not feeling my best at the moment, guys. I've been overeating, over drinking, and it's really showing. So I feel like, yeah, I don't really like getting my belly out, but if I wear a t-shirt with this, it all looks too kind of oversized. But I feel like it looks quite like casual and, you know, um, you know, not too, not too much, maybe. This is a really weird fact about me, guys, but I am addicted to true crime. <laughs> I don't know why, but at any given moment, I will listen to documentaries on it. Like TikTok is the worst because you get like down this rabbit hole of these really short videos and it's great. But I also watch them all the time on YouTube. There's this girl, her name is Danielle Kirsty. I think that's what her name is. This is her on YouTube. She'll do her makeup whilst telling you all of the details on a murder, which honestly sounds so weird that I listen to it every single day. But it just interests me so much and that's exactly what I've just been doing this morning. Anyway, guys, this vlog, I'm so sorry. It has been in my flat. It's been at home. It's been just an absolute shambles, really. I think I left you when I was off for lunch with my friends to 34 Mayfair. And you know what? The food was lovely. I actually had lobster roll. I can't really remember what the other girls had. It was really nice. It wasn't like too vibey in there though. It was not quiet, but you know, it wasn't anything crazy. And then after that, we went to 180, which is one of the Soho houses. And it was super busy in there and we couldn't really get a table. So we actually like called it an early night. And we were home by like eight, but it was a really lovely evening and it was so good to see my friends. So that's what I did then. And then the day after I went to go and meet my friends, Amanda and Abby. And we went to a place in Covent Garden called La Gosha. I think that's what it's called. The food is incredible. Like you have to go. I've actually been once before. I went um, on a, like we had a meeting there last summer, but when you have a meeting, you can't eat like properly, like you can when you're with your friends. So we had the most amazing food and we actually sat there for five hours 
chatting life. And then um, I came back here and last night I chilled. But I thought at the end of this video, what I could do is I could unbox with you guys all of the things that I got for my birthday. I'm not boasting at all. I feel very grateful for everything I got, but I know you guys love things as much as I do. So I thought I'd show you what I got. Now I'm very lucky to say that I do actually have like four different groups of friends. Some They all kind of sort of know each other. Some of them do, but they're sort of split into four different groups. So. This group of friends, we're actually friends because our mums are all friends and we've known each other since we were really, really young. Our mums all met at Keep Fit class. <laughs> and um, so like naturally, as we grew up, we saw a lot of each other because obviously our mums were all friends and now we're all adults ourselves. We are all friends ourselves. We go on lots of holidays together and they're almost like extended family. They're like my sisters, basically. Um, so I feel very lucky to have them in my life. And as I say, we're all a lot older now. We've had so many fun times together and this is what they got me for my birthday. Now they say I'm impossible to buy for and it is so true everyone says that and truthfully guys i know i am because i don't even know what i want myself let alone what i'd like people to buy me so they got me the cutest little gift i've actually already opened it but it is a fortnum and mason hamper but look how tiny and cute it is i already have one it's usually in the corner of my room over there but i've actually moved it to my dressing room but what i love about them is you can keep the basket after you've eaten everything inside this basket is almost like a cream tea kind of vibe i feel so here we've got strawberry and champagne fortnum and mason jam which I love, fruit cake, which I can't lie, I had it for breakfast yesterday, there is a little bit left, but it was fantastic, then two different types of teas, so one is an afternoon blend, and one is a real blend, look how cute they are, I actually need to get myself a tea strainer, I don't have one, then I got some champagne truffles, and of course, a bottle of champagne, but it's so nice, because now, I can keep this basket, and fill it with, well I'm actually thinking I might put my makeup into it, and I thought that was a really, really lovely gift. And I actually wanted to show you guys as well, because if any of you are thinking of like gift ideas for someone, I always think a Fortnum and Mason hamper is a lovely gift. So that was really lovely from them. Then my mum and dad. So once again, as I said, I am literally impossible to buy for. And I mean, it's a very like fortunate thing to say that I actually don't want for anything in my life. Like I really don't. I'm very self-sufficient. Um... And everything I do want, I usually get myself. And if I don't get it myself, it's usually because it's worth like £10,000. And then no one's going to buy that for me either. So for my birthday, my mum got me a packet of Percy Pigs. <laughs> I got some knickers. I got some socks. And I also got the tickets to the Bob Marley show. So that was like my main present from my parents. They got us tickets to go watch Bob Marley, which obviously I went to on Friday, which was brilliant. And I'm trying to think what else she got me. I think it was just like little bits. It was almost like stocking fillers kind of vibe. But she did get me this really gorgeous, I say she, my mum and dad both get me this, but my dad hasn't got a clue what the presents are. So she got me this really gorgeous reed diffuser, which I did briefly open at home, but I want to show you how big it is. It's absolutely ginormous. I absolutely love having these around my apartment and this one is from Next and it's called Amalfi which by the way guys I cannot tell you how much I want to go to the Amalfi Coast like I feel like I need to do it this year because it's just been on my list of destinations I want to visit for so long and I feel like this reed diffuser is telling me I need to go so how nice is that and it will look really lovely on my coffee table not quite there I will like position it properly but that was a lovely present. And as I said, the show was incredible and loved it so much. Then the next group of friends got me something from Liberties. Now this group are like my newer friends, but we've actually been friends. Alicia and I were talking about it the other day. We met like four or five years ago now. I actually met her through Instagram. And I feel like a lot of the time people feel like Instagram friendships are fake. And, you know, you just do it because you get more followers and stuff like that. And to be honest, I think sometimes with some people, that is definitely the case. However, with Alicia and I and all of my Instagram friends, we are genuine friends in real life. And she is genuinely one of my best mates. And um, I spend so much time with her. And I actually forget now we met through Instagram. Like, she's just 
a friend for life. And also in the group is my friend Harriet who does my hair. And then there is Amy and Faye as well. So we all actually went to Ibiza with each other last summer. Some of you may remember them from that. But we are just genuinely all really good friends. I see so much of them. They live very close to me. And um, yeah, this is what they got me. And they got me something from Liberty. So this is the box it came in. And then it is a box inside a box. By the way, I haven't actually been to Liberty's in the longest time. It's such a beautiful store, but never really shop there. Anyway, they got me, oh, it's upside down. So I actually had it on. I put it back in the box just to show you guys properly. They got me this ring, which is a pinky ring. And it's real gold and it's real diamonds. And if I get a little bit closer, you'll be able to see it. It's got an F on it. Can you see that? Is it focusing? It's got an F on it. And Alicia actually has one that has an A on it. And I've always looked at it and I said it when she got it. I said, I absolutely love that. And she remembered. Well, she actually yeah, said she didn't remember. She just said that they knew I'd like it. And so they all got me one as well. So I'm losing my voice. So I think it looks absolutely amazing. And as you guys know, I absolutely love my jewellery. I wear it every single day. And rings are something that I can keep forever. And the fact it is real gold and diamonds, I mean... How amazing is that the only thing is it is a little bit too big for me so i'm actually going to get it resized um because they can do it at liberties for you apparently so i'm going to get it made one size smaller and it will be perfect so that is what they got me i feel so spoilt and so lovely then this group of friends are friends that i've had since school like we have literally been friends for as long as I can remember, like 20, 20 years. Also, Abby is in this group as well, and also Amanda, who I've known for a little bit less, but they're all friends I've had for, for a long time as well. So, they got me two gifts, which are in here. So, the first one was actually from Harrods, and what it is, this they also say, obviously, don't know what to buy me all the time. So, they got me a 80 minute personalized massage at harrods which is in the spa which is so nice because i feel like that's a gift like you would never i'd never pay for myself to have an 80 minute massage at harrods i feel like that's very luxurious and a real treat so i think that is such a good gift idea because as i said i'd never get it for myself so they got me that they also got me um this was abby's doing because she actually had this mascara when i was on holiday with her and I used it every single day because I was obsessed with it so she got me the hourglass mascara which guys if you haven't tried it you must try it because it's brilliant and then they also got me a Byredo hand cream as well which is really lovely to have in my handbag and once again something I would probably never buy myself because it's a little bit spinny but oh wow it smells amazing and they also got me one of my absolute favorite things macaroons from Ladderay. honestly they really are like one of my faves so yeah i think amanda chose these <laughs> i actually can't remember i last time i ate a macaroon from Ladderay as well i think it was like when i was in paris shall i eat one right now look at that stunning box shall i eat it i feel like that's a bit wrong to eat for breakfast but sod it why not i'm gonna have a pistachio one heaven i can't even tell you guys how much weight i've put on like honestly all I've been doing is eating and drinking like it has to stop my summer body it's now like summer and my summer body I've left it in winter and then the last presents I have to show you are from my boyfriend which guys as I have been single like the whole of my 20s and as you guys know I have just turned 29 the last thing a guy bought me you know often I think that people think in life if you have all of these things and you have like like nice jewellery and stuff like that it's often a guy that's bought it for you well honestly the last thing a guy bought me was when i was like i want to say it was my 18th birthday i got a links of london bracelet nothing wrong with that i'm not saying it like links of london i'm just saying it like that is the only thing i've ever been bought like none of my stuff has been bought from a guy and i've already said this in other videos not that that's any shade to anyone that gets bought stuff because honey if they do fantastic like brilliant but i'm just saying i do not so i feel very lucky that um i've met such a nice guy and he's so lovely to me so this is what he got me for my birthday so the first thing i'm going to start off like with the smaller present first this was like a very thoughtful gift because my drink when i go out i either drink gin soda 
and elderflower or I drink vodka, soda, elderflower. Everything is something with elderflower if they have it. If they don't have it, you need to have like a gin and tonic. But most places in London do have it. However, he got these in Selfridges and what they are, they're gins with elderflower already in them. So that was such a nice gift and like a really thoughtful gift because he must have seen them and thought of me because I do drive him mad because every single time we're out I always say to the waiter, do you have elderflower? And they either say yes or no, <laughs> but I honestly ask in every single restaurant. Oh, by the way, he obviously did that like big birthday set up and got me a cake and the balloons, which I haven't even told you the balloon story, have I? I need to quickly tell you that. So you may have noticed that the two is gold and the nine, which we actually think is a six upside down, is rose gold and i didn't really think much to it when i walked in i just thought maybe that's what he wanted he wanted them to be different colors however he said that the morning i was coming home from kent so it was the morning of my birthday he'd gone to the shops to go and get the balloons and get all like the decorations and stuff for the flat and when he was walking back with the two balloons a dog sorry i just i think it's funnier because I know him <laughs> and this dog came running up to him and he he's not got a fear of dog if he doesn't really like you know, a bit of a fear of dogs. I'm a bit the same, to be honest. This big dog came running up to him, barking, and he kind of backed up into a wall, hit the wall with the balloon, and the balloon popped, and he was just like, oh my God. So the number two popped. So then he was thinking, I'm a, I'm a like 20 minute walk from the shops again. He hadn't taken his car because he'd been to the gym that morning. And he thought, oh God, I'm gonna be in such a rush. So he started walking back to the shop, the balloon shop, bless him i mean i'd have just sacked it off by that point and thought you were just gonna get an upside down six like i'm not even gonna bother and he went back to the shop and they said they haven't got any rose gold twos left so we had to get a gold two and a rose gold six or nine whatever the hell it is um so when he told me that story i feel like i find it funnier because like i know him but bless him anyway the next gift he got me was in this giant bottega box it's so heavy like it's actually something that i looked at not long ago when i was in the store i met alicia in the store she was buying a bag i think and i saw that they had all like new season colors of these boots now i actually wanted these boots a couple of years ago in black i feel like the black they're still really nice but now they've got these new colors it would be a little bit kind of like boring just to get the black ones so he got me the Bottega boots with the cream sole which I absolutely love I feel like they're gonna look so good with like an all black outfit these boots and like my white Chanel with it because they're like a creamy white and I just think they're like such a cool contrast and they're great they are very heavy though I have to say but they're also the perfect size he got me three and a half so they are absolutely perfect and yeah, I can't wait to wear them. I also actually wear boots in summertime. You know, I think they actually look really good with like a pair of shorts and a blazer. I actually wore that kind of outfit out about a week ago to um, the pub when it was a little bit warmer. Um, and I thought it looked really cool. So I definitely think I'll be wearing these in the summer as well, but definitely be wearing them in autumn, winter. And then the last present he got me, I don't actually have it because it's being resized, but I will show you a photo because well obviously i took a photo of it now he originally got me the mother of pearl one because for christmas he got me this van cleef necklace which some of you may see me wearing and it is the sweet alhambra is that how you say that i'm so unsure if i've completely murdered that but i wear it every single day and i've not taken it off since christmas which i know you should because you shouldn't shower in them and stuff but i do and the reason he went for the sweet size is because i am really quite small and the bigger one maybe looks like too much on me however the bracelet is the bigger one but he originally got it in the mother of pearl to match my necklace so it looks like this one just here but i decided to go for it in black instead so when i went to the shop to go and get it resized i actually decided to get the black one so this was my other birthday gift which i'm so so happy about i love jewelry so much and i just know i'll be able to keep it forever and i'll wear it every single day he also told me in the shop the guy told me in the shop that the onyx which is what the stone is in this particular bracelet is a lot more hard wearing than their other stones that's the only thing with van cleef if they use the stones they can get damaged so you should take them off for showering and things like that i mean i'm so lazy when it comes to my jewelry and i usually just leave everything on um but he basically told me that the onyx is harder wearing which is great to know because 
I won't worry about it so much. I mean, I will still try and take it off when I can, but I won't worry about it as much as I would some of the other stones. But the most annoying thing is, it's eight weeks to get it resized. So they are actually quite big and I have quite small wrists and basically it like came down to here on me and I just obviously couldn't wear it like that because I'd lose it or whatever. So I'm getting it resized and yeah, the waiting list to get it resized is eight weeks, which is really annoying. So I'm not gonna get it until like, well, May, June, maybe like the beginning of July, but whatever, you know, I'll have it for life once I do get it back. Um, but that was like an amazing gift. So that is everything I got for my birthday, I think. Yeah, I never actually bought myself a present. I usually buy myself a present every single year, but, I just didn't really know what I wanted. Like, there's nothing I really, really, really want. I did really want one of those bracelets, to be honest, and I got one, which I feel so grateful for. So, yeah, other than that, there's nothing really on my wish list, and I just thought I may as well save my money until there is something that is on my wish list, which I'm sure in about a month's time, I will find something I want. So that is the end of my birthday vlog. I hope so much you've enjoyed it. And if you I mean if you're still here right now, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> I hope all you guys are doing well. Please stay safe. And before you go, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. If you could give this video a big thumbs up, I would love you forever. And also go follow me on TikTok and Instagram because I'm obviously on there a little bit more than I am on YouTube. Like I'm on there on a daily basis, you know. Anyway, I shall see you in my next video. Take care of yourselves, guys. By the way, I actually just need to say, if any of you are waiting for my handbag collection, which I promised you two videos ago, I did actually film it. I just haven't edited it, but I promise you it's coming. Anyway, send you all so much love. Take care and bye-bye.